So this expands upon 2.3.1, because this has equations. Alrighty, so we're in Dr. Atkinson's clone layer. So you can see that radio and TV, so that's the lowest sort of energy radiation. Then microwaves, infrared, that produces heat. At increasingly higher energies, we have then red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and finally violet in the visible. Past that is, well, what do you think? Look at the suntan on that guy. Yes, is ultraviolet, is higher energy still. And the final one you need to know is x-rays. There's a piece of cobalt 60, which is used for x-ray creation. You need to know that for SL chemistry. Now, there are other things in the electromagnetic spectrum, but none of them you need to know for IB. So hopefully this diagram will help you understand a bit more about the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's pretend that this uh, part of the diagram here is for visible, for visible light, Roy G. Biv. Now, at slightly higher energies, on the right-hand side, we've got ultraviolet and then X-rays. You don't need to know about gamma rays. And at lower energies, past infrared, we have microwaves and finally radio waves. Okay. That's a beautiful wave. That's not bad for freehand. That's the wavelength, the distance from one peak to another. And since it's a length, it's measured in distance. We'll use meters, standard unit. Next is frequency. It's how many wave crests pass a given point per second. So let's count 1,000. Oh, so that was one second. And how many wave points went by? One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 nine. Okay, so that's nine per second, or nine hertz. Nine per second is probably what the IB will use. Next, we have the rather cryptic wave number. Wave number is one divided by the wavelength, and the wavelength has to be in centimeters. And this provides a more convenient number that's within the realm that we understand, you know, hundreds, thousands. No nasty exponentials or megas. Just a few extra details. Visible light is around 10 to the minus 7 meters from peak to peak, the wavelength. X-ray is 10 to the minus 10, so the wavelengths are smaller there. Infrared is in the order of millimeters. Microwaves in the order of centimeters. And radio waves, we're looking at kilometers long. Bring on the maths. So E equals HF. That's given in the data booklet, and its energy is Planck's constant, which is also given in the data booklet, times frequency. The next equation you need to know is C equals lambda F. C is a speed of light. Lambda, well, that's how wavelength is written, and multiplied by frequency. So three equations in total, including wave number is 1 over wavelength. So green light has a uh, wavelength of 530 nanometers. Find the energy, frequency, and wave number. Let's find the frequency first. Rearranging that equation, speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. OK, so that's my frequency. Wow, that's really frequent. And the units, cancel top and bottom, just gives me per second. So there's that many oscillations per second of green light. Trying to work out the energy. Planck's constant, again, is given in the data booklet. Multiplied by the frequency that I just worked out. And that's going to give me a very teeny weeny number. It's the energy of one photon. Working out the units, second cancels with per second, so that just gives me joules. And the final equation gives me the wave number. Oh, there's a little photon there. Whee. So wave number is one over the wavelength, and it's got to be measured in centimeters, the wavelength. A little bit of conversion to get to meters. I'm going to move it to 
scientific notation and then bring that to centimeters. Okay, 5.30 times 10 to the minus five centimeters is the wavelength. Invert that. Uh, three sig figs all the way through. So that's 18,900 per centimeter. Easy.